What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be carving the perfect pumpkin. But before we get too far into the video, you guys know what to do. Well, you should know by now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a big old thumbs up, and don't forget to tap that bell icon. That way you know every single time we post a brand new video. seeds around the holiday season is carving pumpkins baby and today i'm going to show you how to carve the perfect pumpkin but first we need a couple tools my mom picked me up this pumpkin carving kit book and in here's all the cool designs but there's all kinds of like little sharp things and scoops and i'm going to show you what i use these things for so join me as we dive into this big pumpkin everybody we have step one complete. We got a pumpkin. Now step two is we need to pick the perfect picture. And to do that, all you gotta do is this cool magic trick. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Wow. See how that happened? Came from here to here. Now let's get started. So the first thing it's telling us to do is we need to cut the top off. And then we gotta clean all the guts out. And yes, that means we're gonna get dirty, but that's okay. We can wash up right after. All right, so to cut the top off, here's what we got. We got a couple of utensils in here, and we're just gonna use these to get the job done, y'all. We got a big knife, a little knife with small teeth. This is like the tracer thing that you kind of go around the little stencil and put it on your pumpkin. And then we got the scoop. All right, first things first is we gotta make a little hole. So this right here kind of makes a hole for me to get started on my pumpkin. So that way I don't bend my little pumpkin cutter. So, got that started. Now for the fun part. Now that that's done, we can pull the top off and dig all these guts out. This is where it gets messy. Check out the inside of my pumpkin. There's not many guts in there, but as you can see, there's still some nasty looking stuff. So we use our scooper and we're gonna get to digging. So the trick here is this. What I'm doing is I'm just taking my scoop and I'm kind of shaving it. I'm really not digging into the actual pumpkin yet. I'm using the scooper and I'm kind of scraping up against the sides. That is gonna loosen everything up for us. That way we can take it all out at one time. Well, that's what I'm planning to do. We at least got a plan, right? dig all this stuff out. This is the fun part. I like it because it's nice and slimy. And it kind of feels like slime. And the cool thing about all these pumpkin seeds is we can save them, clean them, dry them, and bake them. They make a perfect snack with some salt on top. All right, we're just gonna keep on digging until everything's gone. The trick to this is all the seeds and all the strings and all that gooey stuff need to be out. All right, everybody, now that we got everything carved out and all the guts are gone, we got us a clean pumpkin. Now, we gotta test it. We gotta make sure it's completely empty, and you do this by doing this. You gotta listen, though. Shh, 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 be quiet. You gotta really listen. Hello! Are you empty? I think it's empty. All right, now the very next thing we do is we take our sheet, our little stencil here, and we find the flattest part of the pumpkin. Not the prettiest, the flattest, because, well, we're gonna be cutting it out, so it's, it's okay. The back here is very round, and the flat side is right here on the front. What we do is we get our pumpkin, get our stencil, and then we get our tape. And what I like to do is tape my stencil right where I want my pumpkin. Get 
Get off there. Okay, got a new piece of tape. Oh, it keeps folding on me! Okay, we're gonna tape that one there. We got a nice little straight spot here. It's all about keeping it straight and proportioned. Or proportion. It's one of those two. All right, everybody. Now that we got this thing as flat on here as possible, we take our carving tool and we're gonna carve out the design. Now, the thing you gotta remember is you wanna stay on the outside of the black little areas, okay? Don't go inside of them, stay on the outside. Doing that, you're gonna push in and we're gonna trace around. So, check it out, I'll show you. And here we go. We are halfway done with the tracing and my arm is killing me to be honest with you. But we got the mouth left so let's just finish it up so we can get to carving this bad boy. All right everybody, we're done with the tracing part. So now it's time to remove our template and start on the carving process. This is where we need Hella Dot. So my mom's gonna sit over there and watch. All right, everybody, you may not be able to see the lines, but I can. I don't know if that makes it any better or not, but the cool part is you'll at least get to see the finished product. First things first, we're gonna use our little starter tool here, and we're gonna find a corner piece that we traced, okay? We're gonna shove that all the way through and pull it out because that is where we're gonna start on the carving process. So sit back and relax and watch a professional. my pumpkin is even showing through. So what we'll do is we'll go back and then we'll make some adjustments after we get all the big pieces cut out. Where's my stencil, little starter? It's down here. Found it. Let's finish her up. try and push out this pretty pumpkin smile and I'm having a hard time on this little corner here so we're just gonna try to make a little cut again wherever it's snagging you may have to try to oh there we go we're on to something guys it looks just like me now to clean up our cuts all right everybody so what I mean when I say we got to clean up our cuts is sometimes when we are carving a pumpkin the knife is at an angle so what you need to do is you just need to go back through not a big deal and just take off some of this excess pumpkin head stuff pumpkin guts is what it's called as you can see we cut back through some of these little stubborn areas but you can at least see its face now now let me show you this little cool trick i learned when i was a kid we're gonna give our pumpkin eyeballs all right to do the eyeball trick all you need is two little toothpicks and two circles cut out of your pumpkin just like this okay so we got our toothpicks and we got our circle now what you want to do is poke the toothpick we're gonna break this in half so we've broken our toothpick in half. We have our eyeball. And now we're gonna push on the eyeball here, just like that. And then we're gonna take our toothpick and shove it in his eye. Oh my goodness, here we go. And we're gonna do the same thing with our other eye here. We're gonna stab this one just like this. Oh yeah. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we got pumpkin eyes. 
now you can do this or you can take them out, but I choose to do it because it looks super cool whenever we light it up. And we're gonna show you that here in just a second. All right, everybody, safety first, right? So always, always ask an adult to watch you while you light your pumpkin. So we got our candle lit. We're gonna put our top back on and it fits perfect, by the way. Now for the reveal. And that is how you carve a perfect pumpkin. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a spooky one at that. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a big old thumbs up and don't forget to tap that bell icon. That way you know every single time we post a brand new video.